Hello and welcome to Mitel Training. Today you'll learn how to add a new user using a user profile. So from the OpEasy main menu, we'll click on provisioning. And then we're going to list the user profiles just so you can see what are profiles are available. So now we click on users. We'll select the group for the new user. We'll click add. And then a user profile, we'll select one of the user profiles. We'll specifically select the 6867i regular user. So this user will use a Mitel Astro 6867i phone as his primary phone. We'll fill in fields including the last name, first name, and so forth. And we'll add the user's email address. We could choose to add a department for this user, but we will not. This user will not be assigned to any department. We could choose also to assign a phone number for the user or use uh, an extension only for this user. But for this user, we'll assign a, a phone number. The phone number is automatically activated because of the user profile. The extension is pre-filled in based upon the selection of the user profile, and in this case is the last four digits of the phone number. And the voicemail is pre-selected to use no email notification, and we will enter the passcode using the rules to the right and create a numeric passcode of four to eight digits. Just below that, we'll add the user password. According to the rules to the right, create a password of at least three characters. So this is the primary user fields that need to be filled in. Scrolling on down, we see a section for the new user notification. It, it's pre-selected to use the send email to a new user. So this new user will receive an email indicating that the Mitel Astro 6867i phone has been created for his use. And under the user information, the ClearSpin user ID has been defined to use the user's first name and last name. And the calling line ID is also filled in according to user profile. And the service packs, which define the services that this user can use, are also, again, obtained from the user profile. Of course, if we want, we can also change these at any point for any of these user profile settings. the authentication, and then going on down to the primary phone device. This shows the settings for the primary phone for the user as a 6867i phone. It includes a MAC address that is not an actual MAC address as provided by the user profile. This is the auto install device ID for the Astra phone. It's the phone number as you can see, this matches the phone number with the leading zeros to, to make a 12-digit uh, MAC address. Using this auto-install device ID, once the user is finished being created, the phone can be added to the user's desk. And when it comes up, it'll prompt for the device ID. The user will enter the auto-install device ID, which is his phone number and he will all confirm it, the phone will reboot, and then the phone will be up and operational. Going back up, 
We'll look at a couple of the other tabs, including the optional tab. The optional tab includes fields that are not required, but can be entered if appropriate, including account ID, selection of a time zone, selection of the language, and scrolling on down, there's user contact fields that could be also be entered. But again, they're optional. Then the phones tab will, will list the various phones that are defined for this new user, including the primary phone, the Astro 6867i, and a clear spend communicator PC as a shared call appearance. If we go on up, we can also look at the voicemail configuration. It's already been predefined based upon uh, the user profile settings. So we select the voicemail service, brings up the voicemail tab. Voicemail is active for busy and no answer calls. And the voice portal passcode that had been entered on the user tab. And scrolling down you will see other configuration including the user configuration that were all again predefined from the user profile. You can change any of these fields if they need to be changed. Scrolling up we can go back to the user tab and we can click OK to create the user. This concludes the tutorial for additional training, visit Learn Now.